Hey everybody, my name is Peter Coffin, and uh, Dark Summerton Rising! Uh, uh, I don't remember the Halo theme. So James, Tiberius Summerton has returned with a victorious swat down of the nonsense against him. I do want you to know that I am honestly sorry. I just want you to know that I am sorry. Me apologizing. And I am incredibly sorry. And I'm really, really sorry that that happened. I can't, I can't really put into words how sorry I am that I am sorry. I'm sorry to everyone I plagiarized. I'm sorry to everyone I've hurt. I'm sorry to people who feel lied to. I'm sorry to people who feel like I abused the queer community. Again, I'm sorry to Jesse. I'm sorry for the people who felt scammed. I am very sorry. And here's something I'm sure a lot of people will call a bullshit excuse. I have memory issues because of a head injury from when I was a child. When it came to editing the scripts, I couldn't remember what I'd written and what had been copy-pasted. According to my therapist, my not thinking to do that probably stems from my recently diagnosed ADHD, but I don't know if I'm willing to say that, really. They wanted to know why, as they put it, I nuked my social media presence. To be frank, it's because I didn't want to exist anymore. Beast! So beast! Wapow! Wapow! Ah, uh, actually, really not so much. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of fun. Some of the things said here were the wrong things to say. I don't think he should have explained anything. It's like Vosh explaining his shit, except for so much less serious. My whole documentary, Plato is a Bitch, AI and Bomber Guy. Uh, you should watch it. I, I think it's good. It's got a ton of great feedback at this point. I talk about how this whole controversy is more or less about reinforcing class rule and property relations. Um, even though people think it isn't, but I I've brought this up because I want to talk about what the problem with this response is. A and this isn't to dunk on James Somerton at all. I know that there are going to be people who are like, don't you like James Somerton? I actually don't like James Somerton's content at all. I defend him on the basis that, uh, intellectual property is bullshit. And I think there's issues with what he did. Certainly we do live in a world where intellectual property is the law of the land. We do live in a world of zero-sum rewards for the owner of the winning property. That said, my criticism is that. That's the issue, the world we live in. That's not explicitly for or against James Somerton as a person. I want to talk about this, this uh, apology or response or whatever you want to call it. First off, James Somerton absolutely did not deserve any of the shit that was thrown his way. It went so far beyond what is okay. Uh, he details some people giving him death threats, but uh, I I've been through many a cancel campaign. It's more or less a bunch of insane shit on a bunch of people who want to feel right about something and want to punish somebody else for doing the wrong thing. I also made a documentary about that. It's called Cancel Culture, A Society of Subscriptions. Check that out as well. I talk about this shit pretty constantly because I've been canceled for very stupid reasons. Um, I mentioned it in my most recent documentary. In 2011, I was being catfished and I was critical uh, about some gossip bloggers marketing as well as some other YouTubers. And they got together and uh, created a story where I was making up a girlfriend, uh, seeded it as much as they could on Facebook. One of them got 77,000 likes on a post claiming this. And it got into Gawker and that basically ruined my life for a year or two. I was unemployable um, when I came out of it and I got employed. Uh, it was something that would come up eventually and then the workplace environment would become hostile. It's insane. People don't give a flying fuck what the thing is as long as they can feel good about it and put you down. It really, it's insane. And I just want to say this right now to James Summerton. I don't know if you're going to watch this. Stop apologizing. Don't apologize to these people. I'm not saying you need to become a racist. I'm not saying you need to become like anti-queer people, anti, um, anti-sexual and gender minority, whatever. It, it, it doesn't, you don't need to do that, but you need to not play their game. You're dead to them. 
Uh, now, you got a pretty good amount of views on your video, so your channel's not like in algo death or anything. My channel has been in algo death. It's very, very hard to come back from, and I'm finally fucking doing it. You don't have to do that. What you have to do, James, is make entertaining content that makes a point. That's it. Because you've got eyeballs, and a lot of them are going to be angry for a while. But as long as YouTube gets signals from you that you're going to upload content that people are going to watch, it is going to expand your audience. You need to not be so apologetic. You need to not pretend that these people, these absolute psychopaths that are spending all day long trying to tarnish your name in every corner of the internet they can. By the way, go on Reddit and search James Summerton if you really want to see some crazy shit. It is time for the Dark Summerton arc. Now, don't go full villain. Don't reverse your ideology. Don't do that. I, I, I haven't done that. I've remained pretty consistent in what I've said um, for the better part of a decade. But I don't care. I, I don't give a shit. I just, I don't give a shit about what these groups who call me evil have to say about anything I have to say. Yeah, I'll quote tweet them. I'll dunk on them from time to time. I think it's funny. I think it helps make points that I'm trying to make. But like, end of the day, I can't spend my time on them. I have no control over them. I can't influence them. They aren't interested in being influenced by me. There's no point. And this goes for anybody being canceled by a demographic or fandom that they're associated with. You're dead to them. Don't even try to salvage it. If they're going at you saying things like you're evil, you shouldn't be allowed to talk anymore. If some contingency of them are saying that you should die and there's not like an uproar by the other contingent of them that they shouldn't be doing that, that's something you need to understand. It's done. You are not done. You're a human being with a huge, potentially wonderful and fruitful life ahead of you. You even have the license now to be critical of personalities you weren't able to be critical of before. Those personalities... They don't get to the root of the things that you care about because the root of the things that you care about will always go further than what people who are simply happy to cultivate fandoms and please them endlessly will ever say. It sucks how people are treating you. It sucks. There are people who still continue to treat me to this day in the most insane, negative possible way. There's a guy named Gerald Nelson on Twitter. I'll, I'll throw up a, a thread of his from recently, a couple days ago. He is constantly calling me literally scum, who is evil, uh, misanthropic. And I, I think the exact opposite of that, actually. He said that in response to a video where I empathetically talked about the subject. I, I even gave and conceded a lot of points to the point that I disagreed with in that video. He doesn't care. I'm, I'm literally Satan. And there's plenty of people that are like that. There's people who think that me kicking myself in the nuts on Steve Harvey was lame, uh, when it's actually the coolest shit ever. I got to hang out with Steve Harvey. I made him crack up. I made the country crack up on national fucking television. Another thing, a lot of people hated me wearing that American flag onesie. A lot of discourse flew around about that, and a lot of it avoided one very big aspect of it. I think the existence of that aspect of it perhaps really bothered people who make a lot of judgments based on aesthetics. But ultimately, that was for fun as well. I wore a toga in my latest documentary to look silly. I think that it's fun to look silly, and people try to hold it against me, and it doesn't make sense to really care a whole lot. Like, I do it on purpose. I laugh at it in the same way that the target audience laughs at it. And I'm pretty aware of what it looks like. I don't have to apologize for any of that shit. And neither do you, James Summerton. You've already done more apologizing than you ever need to do. And no amount of it or type of it is ever going to sound good enough for these people. So stop. Instead, make the shit that you intend to make. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. A lot of your content is not for me. And I think identity is a vastly overblown vector for power and or oppression. I, I think it's mostly an ideological means of justifying who gets the worst of things. But I, I'm not coming at you from a bigoted position. I consider myself non-binary, but I, I don't subscribe to queer theory. It's just, it's not all for me. Jesse Gender made a response uh, to your apology, and this is exactly what you should expect. At the end of the day, just to wrap out here, like, I... 
I don't need the apology. I guess I, I, I do appreciate the attempt, but like, I, it's hard for me to accept it at this point because of the lack of trust that I have in him. Like, in all seriousness, to Jesse Gender, she gets to literally talk for 40 minutes about the status quo, get a bunch of views, and walk away. It, it doesn't matter to her, and it's not gonna. James, don't mention these people, don't talk to these people. Unless you have a specific criticism for them, say shit. I sent an email to James. I don't know if he'll answer it. Uh, it's perfectly fine if he doesn't. He has no fucking idea who I am. But I said this there, and I'll say it here. If you want to talk to me at all, I'm there. I I've been through a lot of this shit, trying to grovel to the people who are going at you uh, like you're literally the main bad guy in an Avengers film. Um, it's not going to work. And again, I want to make sure that it's clear that's not an attack. I'm not even criticizing. I'm saying I would like for you not to have to go through this. I don't think that you deserve it. And I think if you continue to do it this way, you're going to continue to court more of the shit and only the shit. If this is the way that you try to get back on the horse, you're going to end up becoming a lao cow. And you don't want that. Even in recent years, I've I've learned lessons about how to engage with garbage on the internet. I'm not saying you have to completely avoid it. You don't. But you also have to understand what you have no control over and what is healthy for you to do. More apologizing and trying to get back in the good graces of people who are treating you as though you're an actual Nazi. Like, legitimately treating you the same way as somebody who pushed a kid down into the Grand Canyon or some shit. Like, you're being treated as a totally despicable human being. A and I can tell you're not. You gotta move on. If you're gonna make YouTube videos, you gotta make them. And they can't be about this. I joke and I say that Dark Summerton needs to rise. But like like I said, about 50-60% of Dark Summerton needs to rise. That's how you get out of this. This was actually more of a message to... James Simmerton himself than I kind of thought it was going to be, but I think it's worth understanding for more than just him. I think there are other people who deal with shit on the internet um, and don't understand how to engage with it very well. You kind of have to understand it's just a thing that is totally beyond your control. You have no control over it. And if you're going to engage with it, it has to be on the basis that you understand that you don't own any of it. And therefore, you can't change any of it deliberately. The most you can do is be consistent, say what you mean, learn and grow where possible, and keep living. So um, lick the video, slurp all over that, that button, lick all the videos, subscribe to this channel, to Very Important Documentaries, maybe go leave a okay, nice comment for Summerton on his video. Uh, he has not gotten a lot of those. And while you're at it, leave a comment here. Um, thanks. Have a good day. Bye.